Hello, I am Tessa Thompson, and today I am going to show you everything that I might wear in a week. So this I would think of as a business meeting look. If I'm having a day where I'm talking to folks, this might be something I'd like to wear. I am trying to get more into skirts. Usually this would be a pant, but these are these uh, Yoshi, this Yoshi skirt that I thrifted. These are two comb pieces that I thrifted separately, but they're very fun and they go together. What I like about this for business is it doesn't take itself too seriously. And I think particularly if you're someone who's creative, I think your business look can also be creative. I am meeting with other creatives. I own a production company called Viva Mod, so I'm typically meeting with other producers, with writers, directors. I think dressing for a business meeting with a real sense of personal style actually allows the person across from you to get a sense of really who you are. So I would maybe like, I love a blazer. So I would probably also put a blazer on top. I like this one because it has so many, you know, fun bows. Usually on a business meeting day, I'm out for a long time, so I need a very big bag to put all my things in and all my secrets in. So this would be my business look. So this I think of as my girls day, friends day out. These are the most comfortable pair of pants. I love them. I would maybe put on this if I'm feeling fun. Uh, probably not because it's too much. This look I think is really convertible into day and night. If you pop on a jacket. Um, and then I love these Loewe also denim shoes. So I'm really in a full Canadian tuxedo, which I love. Kind of feels like I'm on the case, you know? I kind of feel like a down-home detective in this look in a way that I really like. And then I would say, I don't need a lot for the evening, you know, a lipstick, a credit card. I would probably grab this little bag. <laughs> so this, I guess I would call my fashion star look. It's Vivian Westwood, who I think a lot of us have been thinking around recently, who's always been so inspiring to me, not just in fashion, but in the way that she lived and the sort of freedom that she dared us to, to live with too and certainly to dress with. I mean, the construction on this corset is really exquisite. There's something about it, I think, that makes you feel I don't know, otherworldly. This look makes me feel kind of like a, like a dainty giraffe. It makes me feel like a, uh, some sort of pop star to another planet, except like slightly worried about breaking an ankle, but otherwise free. Okay, I, um, I took these off because these were trying to off me. Um, <laughs> thanks Vogue for not sharing that footage of me eating it. So this I like to think of is sort of a classic me, a classic Tessa, a classic tea look, if I should be so lucky. This is a Willy Chavaria suit. I love suits. They make me feel very comfy, very chic. And there's also a touch of absurdity, I think, because of the dimensions. I really like that. I really love the idea that fashion is fun. Fashion can even be funny. I could get married in this. I could get buried in this. I could go to my own funeral or someone else's in this. And what's great about it is if you were to see someone that you don't want to talk to, you just do this and then you can, you know, avoid uh, awkward conversations. So that's really good. Okay, so this look I think is a night out. I could go, you know, for dinner, but I think it would be a really fun dancing look. Just to sort of elevate it and make it a little more nighttime, maybe this like 
tiny little cute self-portrait purse that I just got the other day. I really love the idea of like maybe tying in the purse with this. I found this vintage necklace at like a weird little place in New Orleans. I kind of love like costume jewelry from this period. And then this Vivian Westwood coat, this, you know, vintage Vivian Westwood, which I feel like you could almost wear as a dress on its own. Um, well now, see, this is my, this is what happens to me often is I really have to reconsider my shoe choices. So I like these boots, but let me just see what happens if I'm wearing something a little sexier, as they say. So I, for me, I, you know, I really love, it's pretty cute too. Let me see. Okay, so, hmm. I might go here and ditch, and ditch the necklace and rethink the purse. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. This is, this is really what happens to me, I'm telling you. I think it might be this silver shoe with this purse. It feels like ladies who lunch into dinner. Ladies who dinner. I think this, yes, this is the final look for now. So this is a red carpet look. It's this dress by Wiederhoff, which I really love, that comes with these delightful flowers as a prop. And they're not for anything except for beauty. I mean, look at these guys, I love them so much. I might even wear this on a red carpet next week, who knows, I fell in love with this dress when I saw it. It's big and playful, but also I think really simple and, and classic. I have so much fun planning for red carpets. I've been working with my stylist women in Micah for some years, and I think we really evolved together a lot. These bad boys are Naked Wolf, and I really like Naked Wolf. They make really good stacked platforms and boots. I wear them a lot, both on the red carpet and off it. I remember once seeing Glenn Close in a red carpet, like a beautiful gown, and underneath it were these like stacked, serious, they looked like part clubbing boots, part like nurse uniform. I was like, that's that's what I aim to do, is find a shoe that I could actually live in for some hours. You know, sometimes it's about finding a great purse and sometimes it's about finding a great prop. And when you go for a prop, you can't have a purse. So one hack that I have found, which is that I just keep my lipstick in the side of my dress and then I have it there for touch-ups, especially when you're wearing a red lip, and then you just have it handy. So stuff a little Armani in the side and then you're good to go. And then you can take your, your, your florals. This is, I think, a very quintessential LA look in the sense that well, it's me in LA. LA is really sort of relaxed, low key. It's often very warm. This is like me in my ethereal dream of myself. It's all Isimiyaki, which I don't really do except in my dreams. <laughs> but I also like to think it's very Los Angeles. Okay, so if I was wearing this, I hop on a plane, I'm going to New York. I would make a few adjustments if I were meeting friends in the evening. I might, you know, ditch this part, maybe. Maybe I'll revisit her, who knows. I really love fashion moments where you buy it and you're like, how does it work? Like to me, then I know that I love it. I'm like, what are you? Okay, so here I have this harness situation on and then maybe I would ditch these shoes and then I maybe would put on this shoe. I could also pop in this guy. Yeah, that's maybe better. Yeah, that's maybe better. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to be a New Yorker now. I think this is a New York look because there's something about it that's very easy. For me, New York, LA, the age old question, they exist together. One makes the other even more special, but New York. <laughs> Okay, Vogue, that is everything that I would wear in a week. Thanks for watching.